Hi, my name is Imani, and today I'd like to take you on a journey through coral reefs to explain why they matter to me, why they matter to other creatures, and why they matter to you. For starters, I grew up with coral reefs by watching lots of nature documentaries and finding Nemo. Plus, I really love how they're interesting to look at. Every reef's incredibly unique in its own way, especially in how they're all shaped differently. It's hard not to look at them and wonder how long they've existed for, because they stay in one place from birth to death. It's surprising, but coral reefs have existed for thousands of years. In terms of where they are, they can be found underwater for scuba divers to visit, towards the surface of the ocean, in tropical waters like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Because of different locations, the colors are full of life when the reef is close to the surface from the sunlight, or the colors will look a little bit darker when it's deeper underwater. More importantly though, outside of their looks, reefs matter since they're habitats to many creatures. There's way too many to list in this video though, so I'm only going to focus on a couple of the smaller fish. If you remember Nemo, then clownfish are familiar. These fish live in anemones. Anemones can be attached to coral reefs or can be found off of them in other parts of the ocean. Did you know that anemones are actually killing machines? On coral reefs, they prepare their fleshy limbs for battle and sting unsuspecting fish to stun them. Then they drag these same fish into their mouths for food. It's honestly pretty vicious, but I'm glad Nemo wouldn't be a victim of that since he has a good symbiotic relationship with the anem anemone like most of his species. Surgeon fish are another example of creatures that use the reef as a habitat. By eating the algae and coral, they help the reef balance itself because even coral reefs have a limit on what they can handle since they're always developing. Furthermore, when it comes to you, you should note that coral reefs are not only a habitat for many creatures like clownfish and surgeonfish, but protect you too. Plus, you might indirectly rely on them to survive. For example, if you live on the coast, you benefit from the barriers that coral reefs have to protect you from devastating waves and storms. The reefs also protect you against floods, preventing unnecessary deaths of innocent people you might know and love. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, coral reefs dissipate up to 97% of coastal flooding as well as erosion using their wave energy. With that degree of accuracy, how can you just continue to sit back and let them be destroyed? Coral reefs are important to your survival because they provide food to millions of people, including you, and offer tourism jobs that help the country you might live in with developing so that you can have a way to go to the doctor, school, or use an internet connection to watch this video. You're a human on this planet, and so am I. And if you've been paying attention to the news, then you know that coral reefs are in trouble from not only our abuse, but our complete misuse of our entire planet's natural resources, especially concerning the ocean. I've read dozens of headlines dedicated to the disasters befalling not only coral reefs, but the entire ocean at large. It isn't only big companies or even governments of other countries that are responsible for the destruction like these articles would have you believe. You and I play a role in it too because of the products we consume, from the microbeads in our toothpaste that we wash down our sinks carelessly to the sunscreen we put on our skin that gets into the ocean. Sometimes, even when we're not trying to pollute, we end up doing so because we don't know how to avoid it. If you care about coral reefs and the environment, you should know that solving this problem isn't going to be all on your shoulders once you decide to take responsibility for your impact. Organizations such as the Coral Reef Alliance, the Marine Conservation Institute, plus even a cat food company called Shiba with a dedicated YouTube channel for growing coral are among many others who are working to save coral reefs. They are at your service. You can make a difference by joining these organizations to be directly involved, learning habits you can change to be more sustainable towards the ocean, or by being someone who donates to the cause so that others can continue the fight against the destruction of coral reefs. For the thousands of innocent creatures living in our oceans who help you and I prosper. You might divide the world by arbitrary lines of continents, argue over who owns what piece of land or who owns what piece of water, but at the end of the day, everything here is a part of Earth, so I know we should be protecting everything, together. Thank you for watching. The incredible footage and music I used to make this video is sourced in the description down below for you to check out. I also left links to the article headlines I used. And remember, if you truly want to make a difference, be sure to visit the sites of the organizations I mentioned, which can be found in the description.